Right, hello, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope you're good. I got extensions. They're like the ones that are permanent. They're like sewed into my head. I've had them for about two weeks now. They're pretty cool. I like them. I like having long hair. A lot more than I like having short hair. Today I wanted to do a video that, um, I don't know if they're like out of date. I know they were very big in like 2015, 16. I wanted to do a what's in my bag because I love them purely because i'm nosy so i thought i would do one i also saw a couple of other vintage inspired youtubers that i subscribe to have also done one of these so i thought you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna do it this is my bag this is my everyday bag i never used to have like an everyday handbag i used to just carry around tote bags everywhere but then i bought this from a store called worn well which is actually in primark this is a true vintage 70s leather bag it's like the perfect size it fits a lot more than you would think but this is bursting at the seams so it's got this really funky like pattern on it and i love it so much let's just get into it the first thing in my bag is a shirt. This is a tie top. The reason this is in here is because I went to a Fleetwood Mac tribute concert thing a few nights ago and I wore like a, um, a waistcoat but tied it up like a shirt and I was like I'm gonna get too cold so I took this just in case because it's thin and I could literally like roll it up into almost nothing and it would fit in my bag. I have a shirt in there. <laughs> Next I have my Hippie Shake sunglasses. These are my favourite 70s inspired sunglasses. They don't feel like a rock star. I don't know if these are still on their website but if they are I 100% recommend. You never know when you're gonna need one of these. I don't even know why this is in here. I'm not even on my period or during my period anytime soon. Um, but you never know. Okay, next up is, is this a little bit cringy? Next up is this little notebook, which is my songwriting notebook. I've had this since 2019. I've got my eyelashes in it. I started this on the 28th of the 6th, 2019. I started it when I was with my ex-boyfriend and then I kind of put it down when we broke up because I didn't want to read through all the things I wrote about him and all the songs I wrote about him. But I use it again now because I just, it's just easy to carry around and I like to write down my songs physically. Next I have this. Oh my god, this is so cute. Very recently got sent this by the wonderful people at Mary Quant. I got sent a bunch of makeup from them and I'm really, really, really excited to do like a full video with all of it. They asked me to pick out four eyeshadow shades and two lipstick shades and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get some Mary Quant eyeshadows. And then when I got the package, they sent me like loads of other bits to go with it. And they sent me this, which is a really cute mirror. It's in the shape of a like flower. Isn't it cute? And then this bit like turns around so you can like stand it up. It's just super cute and I love that it's in the shape of a flower. I kind of want to just put it in my bag like this but I don't want it to get ruined so I'm keeping it in the little packaging. Next is these. My anxiety girlies will know exactly what these are. These are rescue pastels. I imagine they have something similar like in the US but if you're not familiar with what they are they're basically you can get the, get this in drop form and a lot of people with anxiety will like put the drops either in their water or like under their tongue and it's like just calming. I don't know whether it's a placebo. I don't know what I, I don't know but they work but I don't like the drops so I I have these. These might actually be out of date. Oh no, they're not. They're just little pastels that you chew. Although I always forget that I have them and I don't actually use them, but when I have used them in the past, they're very good. Next, I have some little Calpol tablets because I can't take actual tablets. So these are just like fast melting children's paracetamol because I am a child. I have a chocolate bar in here. Um, I don't know why, I don't even really like caramel wafers, but I have a rolled up carrier bag, mostly because of my phobia. I have emetophobia, which is the fear of being sick, and I've just always, my whole life, carried a carrier bag around with me, just in case I ever get sick. But it's also handy when you go shopping. I have an almost empty packet of chewing gum. I actually am intrigued to see how many empty or almost empty packets of gum I have in this bag because I'm, I'm the worst for that. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. One more piece left in there. Next, I have hand sanitizer. Always handy ever since the pandemic. Along with hand sanitizer, I always, always, always carry hand cream. This is actually a body lotion from the Hard Day's Night Hotel in Liverpool. I stole it from the bathroom because it's just the perfect travel size. It's not actually the best 
hand cream but it'll do I just I like to have hand cream with me because I literally cannot stand the feeling of dry hands it makes me want to like rip my skin off I have to have some kind of hand cream and it's cute because it's from Liverpool it's the hard days night hand cream I have a pen with a hair Ew. for writing in my notebook I have this Ted Baker raspberry and orange blossom body spray my nan got me this for Christmas because we were in Boots and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells like the perfume I had when we went to Australia. You know when a, a scent just reminds you of a time in your life? Um, so she bought it me for Christmas, which I think is really cute. Next, I have this packet of wax strips. At the start of my vlog for the 1975 concert, um, I gave you a little update and I was like, I started this new job at this beauty company. Um, these wax strips are from that company. I don't actually work there anymore. They got rid of me is what it is <laughs> this is why i'm pursuing my youtube again because we'll see if that works out these these are from there these are just some like facial wax strips i don't actually know if they're any good i've never really used them um, and i don't know why they're in my bag okay this is the part of my bag that needs sorting out because there's just so much crap in here that i just don't need <laughs> for example this teeny tiny little beetles thing this was like the wrapper of a chocolate from the Beatles Cafe in Liverpool. So I don't, I don't know why that's in there. Empty gum. I have this. It's a Cork Bride lip balm and I think it's really cute. But the reason I keep it like in the packaging is one, because the packaging is super cute. I literally only bought this lip balm because of this. It's really cute. It's got like a blue stars all over it, but it comes with a ring. It comes with the wedding ring they use in the film. And it says with this, and I will lift your sorrows, which is one of the vows. I just thought it was cute. It's not actually the best lip balm. It kind of tastes like, um, I don't know, like plastic. It's kind of gross. I just keep it in my bag because otherwise I'll lose it somewhere. I also have a lip gloss, which this is the Revolution Friends lip gloss. This is the Rachel one because it's just clear. What is this? A receipt for, I don't know. I don't know this Oh my god, I have so much half eaten chewing gum in here. Hi! <laughs> Pack of polos because I don't have enough mints in here apparently. I have some eyelash glue. I have these two little pouches that I always carry around. This is just a small little pouch full of lavender. It smells good, makes my bag smell nice. It's just good. I like I like it. And then I also have this little pouch, which is just some crystals that I haven't actually changed out in a while. I probably should. In here, I have these two, which I'm going to be a bad witch right now and I don't remember what these... I think this is this one is definitely a form of moonstone. I cannot remember what this one is. But me and Millie picked these crystals out when we went to Nottingham and I just thought that was a really cute little thing to keep with me. Um, and I have this big rose quartz. But also in this little pouch, I keep this guitar pick which I got at the 1975 concert. I was standing outside the door before you go into like the actual seating area and I was having a little bit of a, a breakdown. And this random woman like came up to me, didn't say anything. She just like grabbed my hand and like went like this and then left and I was like, huh, cute. So I've got a cute little 1975 pick and I just keep it in here because on that night I was like, I don't want to just put it in the bottom of my bag and lose it. So it's in here and it lives in here now. I have so much jewellery in the bottom of here. Let's try and get it all out. Oh my god, literally so much jewellery. This is all the jewellery that's in the bottom of my bag. This is basically my everyday jewellery, but I haven't worn it for like a couple of days because it's been in the bottom of my bag. So first of all, I have these 60s style hoop earrings. I think these are really funky. I absolutely love these. I have this really cute little like cuff bracelet. This reminds me of Bella from Twilight because she wears a turquoise cuff bracelet. These are my current everyday rings. I tend to like switch my rings around every like month or so but currently I have this which is like a om symbol ring which is really cute. That one is like for my thumb. I have this. I don't know why I still wear this because the patterns actually come off it. As you can see it's just like Plain, but it's adjustable and it fits my middle finger perfectly so I just wear that because it's kind of thick and chunky and I like it. I have this tiny little evil eye. These two I got in just like a random multi-pack of rings. This one fits on my ring finger and this one is another thumb ring. I always wear this on my engagement finger when I, I mean technically I should wear it on this one 
I just like to pretend, you know? I was gonna say if my boyfriend's watching, but he never watches my videos, so. I have this, which I freaking love. It's just this like giant cuff ring. I love anything that's huge. This is a moonstone, again, Bella from Twilight Vibes. And then finally, this is probably my favorite ring because it's just ridiculous. Oh, isn't she stunning? And it literally covers almost my whole other fingers. I also have this necklace in here, which is just like a cute little beaded necklace. I have this cute little yin yang bracelet that I had, I bought for me and my boyfriend. He has obviously the other one. I have a couple of crystal bracelets. I have these two. And then I have this like chakra one, which I think is really cute. This bracelet, which again is matching with my boyfriend. This is apparently some like lucky coin, like lucky Chinese coin, I think, or Japanese, I can't remember. And then I have these earrings, which I don't ever wear, but I have them because they're just super cute. They're these little green and red jewel earrings. And if you have an eagle eye and you've seen Ghibli movies, you will know that these are the same earrings that Howl wears in Howl's Moving Castle. No, I'm not gonna try and put them in. I think they're so cute. They look just like Howl's and uh, I love them. Okay, what's left? There can't be much left, surely. A couple of hair clips. Okay, here's something about me. I am addicted to salt. Whenever we go out to a restaurant, I'm always adding extra salt. I always over salt my food. I always prefer salty snacks over like sweet snacks. So whenever we go to like Weatherspoons or McDonald's, I always pick up a bunch of salt packets. Not only because I enjoy putting lots of salt on my food, but also because carrying salt around is just like a little Form former protection. But it's also very handy when you buy like a pasta pot from like Tesco's and it's not very salty. So you just, so I have a bunch of salt packets. They're not going in the bin, they can stay. I also have all my old acrylic nails that I took off. Like I picked them off and I just put them in my bag, which is kind of gross. Yeah, just some really cute and not disgusting at all old acrylic nails. And a couple of pennies, five pences. I have 20, six pence. Oh, and these last few bits that I took out to get away from the rubbish. I have this, which is, I bought it because it looked like the Glossier lip balms, but it is actually a multi-use balm. So it's a lip balm, cuticle balm, elbow balm, and a hand cream. Then I just have this ordinary lip balm because it's just, a, you know, hand you want to have. I have this, which I absolutely love. This is called Mystic Musk and I got it sent to me from the Mystic Musk brand. I think it was like my first ever like collaboration on my Instagram and I absolutely love it. It's like a roll-on perfume, but it smells like the 70s. And to me, like it reminds me of being at university. It reminds me of starting out in the vintage community. It's like quite a nostalgic smell for me now and I really enjoy it. And the final thing in here, is this little badge. It's got Peppa Pig on it. It says, I'm two. Millie bought it me for my 22nd birthday. She got me a card that said, I'm two. I just kept it in my bag because I thought it was really cute. Let's put everything away, shall we? The amount this bag can hold is kind of stunning. Like I, I'm shocked. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Like I said, and like I always say, I wanna start taking my YouTube channel super seriously. Shut up, man, no one listens, no one cares. <laughs> But yeah, now that I have a lot more time on my hands, uh, I would like to take my YouTube channel more seriously. I have decided that I'm going back to university in September. So I want to sort of build up my channel so that by the time I'm at university, I can be making vlogs and people will be here to watch them. So I have a couple of videos filmed that I just haven't got around to editing yet. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get them up and going. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if there's anything you would like to see me make, then please do let me know um, and I will see you in my next video.